today I will start with an alternator and the uh, first thing to do is just to remove the, the hose, the, the belt. So you take the 15 millimeter wrench and pull it up counterclockwise, slide it off of the pulley from the tensioner. down that way you can actually easily slide the belt off now we can remove belt from everything here I will be putting the new one this one still If you look at it basically in the belt, see there's no broken uh, it's not broken so this is still good but I will be putting the new one and this is gonna be my backup for emergencies. If you're not sure how many exactly bolts you have to undo and what kind of plugs, the easiest way to do it just look at the new one and see there's one bolt here there's another one that slide through there I'm guessing we just loosen up and it comes out together so this is in the frame so it looks like it's going to be two bolts one here one here and it's going to be one plug and over here I'm guessing you know like heavier cable uh, from the alternator one thing that scares me scared me a little bit see this that shouldn't happen but don't get scared this is just this knot over here so so because <laughs> that scared me a little bit I started looking inside but that's this knot over here that you're gonna have to tie it up so now that I know what's what I have to do so first thing I have to undo this cable uh, and I gotta be careful because this is obviously hot so I don't want to short it out and one plug over here so we're gonna have to take the other one and I have to the old one and I have to return the old one back because it's a $75 core if I will keep it uh, you know I don't really have a use for it but if I'm gonna return it Ford will give me back $75 and that's pretty much with any auto parts store Okay, so the first thing to do is undo this plug. There you go. Gotta push it. So it Alright, now we're gonna remove this cap from the alternator. Slide it down, thirteen millimeter socket. So it actually was a little bit hard to break, 
but after that it's actually really easy. Right there we get the nut off. Remove the cable. I'm gonna slide inside that sleeve. And now we're gonna be dealing with bolts. So I have top bolt over here that's uh, 15 millimeter. Let's see how easy. Okay, I need it to break and after that it's actually coming out fairly easy. Before I do that, so here's the second bolt right here. Right here, where is it? Yeah, right there is the second bolt and that's the one that I looks like don't have to take out just to loosen up we'll see how this go Okay, I wasn't able to loosen up with the wrench, so now we're gonna use a heavy artillery. This gives plenty of leverage, I hope I didn't Okay, got a bolt out. Now we need to remove the bottom bolt. And uh, now we're gonna have to wiggle. around out radiator and that's our old one here's what it looks like this one was made in Japan 
so lasted this long. Well now that I have everything open over here I will replace the tensioner before I put the alternator back in there because now it's I have more room actually to get to the alternator or to that tensioner so that's what we're gonna do next on the tensioner I have two bolts they're holding it 10 millimeter bolts Okay, so that's the tensioner. Spring seems to be still pretty solid, but I don't know if uh, if you hear the bearing. It still would work probably, but you already have some play right here. I don't know if you hear it or see it. So, uh, yeah, obviously that wasn't the problem from my noise, I think, but uh, I don't know, it probably would last a year or maybe not, so it's packed with dirt and all kinds of stuff, so that's what the old one looks like. All right, now that's how the new one looks like, see, you don't hear bearings at all, so. That's, that's the difference. Always start bolts with hands by hand, never with a, a ratchet or whatever. You gotta make sure you you have the thread on. And when you start it, now you can Okay, that was that. Okay, so now alternator. If you have piece of cardboard to protect alternator maybe that's a that would be a good idea
We don't want to drop it here. Okay, so that the side was rusted, I'm gonna put a little a little bit of grease. I don't wanna remove this hose over here that comes to the looks like a thermostat over here and uh, so between the hose and the alternator, deep socket will not fit in there. And this is a special, special bolt. So the shallow socket will not reach. Okay, we got that part, now we're gonna connect the power cable. Okay, obviously no air ratchet here. Okay, that's that. That's this side. I'm not going to put the belt on because the other side. Okay, so now we have new alternator here, all connected. Everything's back like it should. Tensioner is there, but uh, the belt I'm not going to put back on because this is the the outer belt and I need to get to the inside. This is compressor. We're not going to be touching that today. <laughs> Hopefully that's not what was making noise. And uh, so we're going to be now next replacing this pulley here and that power steering pump. Yeah, water pump is nice so I mean I still already have 250 260 thousand miles on this thing but it's okay for now so and the uh, compressor was installed last year okay to remove the this one
clockwise, pull it, now we have the belt out. See this belt is still in a very good shape. Right there. So the, the this is much louder than the other one. So the I'm not sure if I even should change the steering pump at this point because well I got the pump already but right here it's already not just loud but it's cranking it's it is in pretty bad shape Compressor, super quiet. Pump. Well, I'll I'll almost I'll almost to the point that not to replace the pump because it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's it's super nice and quiet, but this right here. That's, that's that was the problem just to what it should sound like and not that not that at all Okay, so I will not be changing the steering pump today unless I gonna install it and I will hear some noise but at this point That's that.